Welcome! In front of me I have Fitbit Versa Lite and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing you will need to do is to turn on your watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the side button. And after the watch turns on, you will see this message on the screen. Basically, download the Fitbit application on the phone you want to use to pair your watch together with. So, go to your phone, make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, uh, open the Play Store. In the Play Store, tap on search and type in Fitbit. And you should see this application, Fitbit by Fitbit LLC. Tap on install. And after the application is done installing, you can tap on open. And here we need to log in into a Fitbit account or Google account. I'm gonna use the Fitbit account, but you can use Google account if you want to. So let's enter the email address and password. Okay, and then we can tap on sign in. After you log in, you may see uh, this info. You can basically join the Google family if you want to. I'm just gonna tap on no thanks and tap on got it. But if you want to do it, you can simply tap on the uh, agree, I, be I believe it was button, something like that. And you can continue with the Google account. And here you can also select uh, what do you want to focus on with this app. I'm gonna tap on sleep better, but you can select anything you like. Okay, and once you're done, you should see this page, today page. Now tap on the left, or rather on the icon in the top left corner to open the connected to Fitbit page. And on this page, tap on add device. Now scroll through the list, find the Fitbit Versa Lite. Once you find it, tap on it. Then tap on setup. And if you see the pop-up about the permission, Tap on here, tap on allow, then tap on setup again, scroll down and tap on I agree, tap next, and here we can enable the, or rather allow the location permission. You don't need to do it, you can scroll down and tap on continue without the location, but if you want to use features like tracking your route and stuff like that uh, on the map, you will need to allow the permission lock for the location. And to do it, tap on here, tap on allow, and then tap on here tap on allow and then go back. Oh, I, let me actually something broke. Let me fix it. Oh, I can't. But basically you need to tap on, actually let me go back in the app. Okay, tap on agree, next, tap on location permission, still bugged. I think it's because I by mistake um, disabled the um, precise location or something like that uh, and it's bugged, but basically you can enable it later on if you want to. I'm just gonna tap for on the continue without location for now. Uh, okay, then tap next. the app should start searching for the uh, for your Versa Lite. And as you can see, it detected the watch. After it does, you will need to enter the code from the watch. Okay, and once you see this pop up on the screen, tap on pair and connect. Tap on pair, then tap on allow. And as you can see, now we need to update our, our, our watch. This is stupid in my opinion, because it forces you to update the watch and the update takes quite a lot of time, basically. So I recommend to plug your watch to a charger and then start the update. I'm gonna tap on start update. It's gonna start updating and uh, after it's done, the watch will be basically paired with your phone. 
I'm not gonna wait until it's done because sometimes it takes up to 30 or 40 minutes for it to update. It's quite slow. Um, and like I said before, once it's done updating, the watch basically will be paired with your phone. So that's how you pair the devices together. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.